retired Marine Sergeant Andrew Tamarisi now resting with his family at this hour in their South Florida home after seven months in a Mexican prison. Let's get the latest on the story with William Lajeunesse, who is standing by live in L.A. with the very latest on this developing story. William? Well, the trial judge ordered Andrew's immediate release Friday afternoon after the Mexican Attorney General's office essentially withdrew the charges and ended the prosecution. Now, this was not expected. It coincides with a lot of arm twisting and lobbying by several congressmen and former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, who've been in Tijuana the last week on a quiet mission to secure his release. It happened around 3 p.m. yesterday. After 214 days in prison, guards released him to immigration, who took him to the border where he boarded a plane from San Diego to his home in Florida, where a news conference took place just a few hours ago. So they're back together. Um, you know, it was a very nice reunion this morning. And I think they're going to spend a little time as a family. I think, you know, he's been in custody for seven months now. And I think he just needs a little bit of time and space. For months, Mexico did not drop this case, even as evidence mounted that Tamarisi made an innocent mistake driving into Mexico. They could have released him, but insisted that the judicial process take its course without U.S. interference. But prosecutors softened that point of view about the same time U.S. Congress held a hearing criticizing Mexico and the Obama administration for not doing more. It's very, very frustrating what's happened. Uh, the, uh, Andrew shouldn't have been in, in prison at all, much less seven months. Uh, but you know what? Um, he's back home, and uh, uh, it, it, it's a good ending to a, a story that should have ended a long time ago. Tamarisi faced 21 years in jail, and while it's difficult to say exactly what difference the U.S. political pressure made on this legal conclusion, we do know that prior to this full court press, Uma, this case moved at a snail's pace. Now, moments ago, the Mexican ambassador released a statement to us saying the judge ruled in Tamarisi's favor because the psychiatrist found that he suffers from PTSD, and for humanitarian reasons, they released him. Back to you. Well, we're all certainly very happy that he's finally back home. Thank you very much for that update.